lovelies, Jennifer Auto here. I'm back for another Style Fix video. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today. I have to say we're in the last week of summer and I always find this time of year a little bit of a challenge because I'm not quite ready to say goodbye to summer and the ease of the dressing and the relaxed pace, but I'm also excited looking forward ahead to a new season, to new ways of dressing and styling things. So I thought today we could talk about that in hopes of inspiring you with some of the things I've been thinking about in terms of what I'm going to be adopting and how I'm going to be styling some of my favorite fall staples. So first of all, what I find a bit of a challenge at this time of year is that the pace gets really busy. You know, there's more meeting friends, back to school, new schedules, uh, people back in town from summer holidays. And all of a sudden the weather can change drastically. And it's like, if you're not keeping up with it all, all of a sudden, the next thing you know, there's a frost warning and you're like, what the hell happened? So for myself, what I like to do is try to be a little bit gentle with myself. And I usually put a basket beside my closet so I can slowly take out some of the summer pieces that I know I'm not going to wear at all. But I keep some of the key pieces. That is certainly linen. And I did it a little bit in the spring, but this year I really want to play around with the shelf life of some of my linen pieces, particularly linen shirts, styling linen shirts with jeans. I like the softness of the linen with the ruggedness of the denim. I like it also because I feel like it's so practical that you don't really have to think about it too much. And it's really easy to do. And it's such a basic formula, a dress shirt with jeans, that you can never go wrong with it. It's never going to go out of style. So it takes away some of that challenge of switching over your wardrobe right away to give you a little bit of wiggle room. The next thing that I'm going to be playing around with styling, and I started doing it a little bit in the spring because I bought a pair of white jeans in the spring and I talked about it, how to style white jeans as a video in the spring, but I want to play around more moving into fall. I know there was this whole rule years ago, no white after Labor Day, but I think it's so fresh and I think it's such a great way to keep your outfits looking summery, um, appropriate for the season, but of course you have the warmth factor. So I love the idea of doing a monochromatic look, a white jean with a white t-shirt, but that's not always easy to pull off. It can start to look a little bit clinical, but if you layer it with, let's say, a trench coat over top or a long cardigan over top, I think that breaks it up enough that makes it look really fresh and really stylish and also really classic. I love the idea of bringing in knits with a white jean, whether that's like a big knit kind of poncho type thing or a sort of off-white knit sweater or camel color or gray. I feel like there's a lot of options here in terms of the color of knit, even if you just wanna do a basic black and white. It looks sharp. It's really easy to do. And I feel like it gives you a softness of palette, which is really easy to manage having gone from the summer months. Next, I love this idea of a flat shoe and a little sock. This is something that it goes back to being really trendy, like a loafer with a sock back in the late 80s, early 90s. And I love it. I'm definitely going to be adopting this. I love the idea of being really bold and doing a loafer with a bright, brighter colored sock um, that ties in something else perhaps in your outfit. I love the idea of doing kind of like a lightweight sock, like a fishnet or sort of something that's a little bit see-through. I think this is quite edgy and also quite dressy. 
I feel like this is something that's quite fun and a little bit of a nod to menswear where you can be sort of playful, whether or not you want to do it with a bright color or a bright print. And it's also really practical to wear your loafers with a little sock. So this is something I'm definitely going to be playing around with. So next, this is something that I have always loved and I've talked about it before and I think it's such an easy trick to transition with and that's wearing a knit dress or a sweater dress with bare legs. I think it looks so chic. I think it's so stylish and it's really nice to be able to continue to wear dresses with bare legs for as long as you can. So whether you or not you want to do it with a little boot, whether or not you want to do it with something as casual as a sneaker, whether or not you want to do, let's say, with your loafer and a little sock. Uh, I love that the sweater dress is really the focal point of the outfit. And then you bring in other accessories that really work, whether you're keeping your basket bag that you've loved all summer long, whether you want to bring in a bright color bag or a really heavy duty kind of leather bag. There's so many options here. It's really fun, it's really stylish, and it's really, really easy to do. And then finally, one of the things that I'm excited to do this year, and of course, we're talking when the weather gets a little bit cooler, but that is layering coats. I love the idea of doing a denim jacket under a trench coat, let's say, or a grandfather style coat. I love the idea of doing a lighter weight coat, like the grandfather coat or a trench coat, and putting a big blanket scarf over top, or also even doing a poncho over top. But this idea of layering coats and keeping it lighter so that you're still warm, but you're not getting into your heavy winter coat right away is kind of nice because we know we're going to be wearing that winter coat for months so it's nice to be able to play around with some new looks i think so anyway so that is it my friends these are my ideas this is what's getting me inspired moving into this new season i hope it's inspired you too if it has please leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts please pass this video along to a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And of course, for more style ideas, more inspiration, or just simply to see what I'm up to, then don't forget to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.